What is good all my dudes out there? It's your boy Roxel and welcome to a new idea for videos for this entire month. So, <laughs> that was a horrible intro, but unfortunately, I can't take it out because this idea is no edit November. So, the way that this is going to work is for the entire month of November, I am allowed three edits total. Starting the video, putting in my face cam, ending the video, that's it. I am not allowed to do anything else besides that. So that is how I'm going to do videos for this entire month. Just because I want to see how it goes and also because I think it'll be a good way to practice commentating a little bit better so I don't have to do as much editing. And hopefully that'll be a way of making it so I can actually up my schedule a little bit from two videos a week to three or even four if I'm lucky. So... That's the plan for the entire month of November. Give me your ideas for videos. Please nothing with gore or nudity. Because if that is there, I am not going to be posting those videos. Because I'm not going to be allowed to censor. <laughs> Alright, let's just get into this stuff. Alright, let's spin the W wheel. Do I have water? Yeah, I've got enough water. That'll be good. Alright, let me actually... <laughs> That one is uh, Monkey Madness. Alright. I should probably actually do all of this while I am trying to, you know, s mix my stuff together. So that way it'll actually be um, easier to... Uh, so I'm not doing all sorts of rambling on after I get this done. I also need to check and make sure that I put in the right amount. Um, so yeah, it is one scoop. One scoop eight to twelve. Okay, so I'm gonna do my same thing as usual and do about one and a half. So W Energy is this energy drink powder, as you can see. We've got all sorts of really cool stuff with this. Wow, I cannot speak. Can you see why I need to practice? So, it's Energy Drink Powder Company. They have all sorts of cool drink mixes, merch, shaker cups, all sorts of cool stuff. And I actually just found out that they're doing this thing. I don't know if they're still doing it, but they released a new shaker cup with a, with a green pattern on it. And for every shaker cup bought, they're actually going to be planting a tree, which I think is really cool. I want to get one of these shaker cups, but I'm broke. <laughs> so, it's awesome drink mixes. Every single one of their flavors is amazing. <laughs> and if you use the code ROXALT at checkout, R-O-X-A-L-T, you get 10% off your entire order. I'm going to miss not having my dubby call out and <laughs> on screen. Uh, no edit November though, you are going to stay committed to it. Good stuff. It tastes almost like Danimals. Alright. Uh, so for the first episode of No Edit... Yeah, No Edit November. Wow, I completely forgot what I'm doing while I'm doing it. We are playing this game called Ultra ADHD. If I actually was smart, then I would have actually put up the, um the description of the game before I actually got started on um, like just to have it on my phone but I'm not smart like that let me let me turn this down or where are the options I guess we don't have them so I'm just gonna turn this down a little bit Sorry, I should have checked these sound settings before actually starting this, but like I said, no edits allowed, so every mistake I make is on full display for y'all to see. Alright, let's play this game from the beginning. I honestly completely forgot all the details. Alright, WASD, okay. Where's the phone? Okay, at least it has some directional sound to it. Um. Here we go. E. E. They, they answered the phone. Ah, oh, good. Let me talk to them. Can you please let me talk to them for once? Uh, 
<laughs> Fighting <set. laughs> Hello there, mate. I am not going to be able to do <laughs> mate. So they're either British or Australian, probably. Not going to be able... Should I try? I'm not going to try. How are you doing this fine morning? God damn it, Motherland, you hit my arm! Run some water on it, you big baby. Anyways. You started it. Take care of it. Sorry about that, mate. Just some sibling rivalry. Oh, Motherland and Fatherland, okay. <laughs> You're not letting me read it! <laughs> wow, wow. Mind your language. It's not fucking professional. You fucking hypocrite. <laughs> Anyways, let's start from the top. How about you give us your name, lucky person? Uh, okay. Rock salt. So it's rock salt, huh? Frankly, I'm not particularly fond of it. Go fuck yourself. But who am I to judge? Exactly. Stop fucking judging me, motherland. Mother Russia. <clears throat> oh, speak of the devil. See? I told you to just put some water on it. I'm bleeding, and it didn't help. Do you see what I have to deal with, Roxalt? Every time I hear her speak, I feel like I'm walking one more step towards a 100-foot cliff. It's either living with a rebellious sister and her lack of tact, or living with the empty void and its lack of, you know, being alive. Dark thoughts aside, Roxalt, I'm pr I'm sure you've... Ugh, I can't read. Roxalt, I'm sure you're even more confused now than you were before. Yeah, I really am. And I'm also wondering if this is a good idea. <laughs> so... Quick question, if you will, Roxalt. Hopefully you won't find it rude. Don't ask anything like that. Why the fuck aren't you responding to anything we say? I can't speak! Yes, I'm interested to know why, too. We've been talking for about 20 text boxes, and Roxalt never said a word. Fourth wall. Ah, we're dealing with a silent protagonist. I love the fourth wall breaks. What? A protagonist, who is also silent. Hmm. Yes, I see. Very interesting indeed, yes. You don't know what that means, right? Nope. It means Roxal doesn't speak and we can basically make them do whatever we want. You can't make me do jack shit, Fatherland! Oh? And because they're the protagonist, they're the only ones who can use weapons and save the world and the like. Oh? I'm going to regret telling you this, aren't I? Right, this isn't a damn visual novel. You want to get to the action. I want to stop bleeding, so let's keep it short. Also, a uh, fun tip, you can skip dialogue by holding tab. Feel free to skip all of Motherland's ramblings. I love that. Look, we require your shooty-shooty bang-bang services. Meet us at the forest. You'll be teleported to a location nearby in a few seconds. If you see Fatherland, tell him he's a dick for me. You got it. Have a safe trip. Uh, Fatherland? That's a wall. Eyeball. Eyeball. Can I ash my cigarette in this thing's pupil? <laughs> Why the fuck did I say that? Like I said, everything. I am not going to be able to cut that shit out. Mm. What? Uh, let's see. Who's that? Can I read this? The sign reads, Attention due to the end times, entry to the force is strictly forbidden. Go fuck yourself, sign. Hey. Shot dog. Woof woof, get the fuck away from me if you want to keep breathing. Woof woof, motherfucker. <laughs> I love this dude. <laughs> can I can I take him with me? Oh well, these guys are dead. Hey dude. This is the end. Okay. Uh, where is Fatherland? No refunds. Credit. Le okay. Where's Fatherland? Are you Fatherland? No, you're not. Hello? Soldier. Halt! Entrance to the- Um, how do I do a soldier voice? 
You wouldn't know how to throw a grenade if your mother taught you. Halt! Entrance to the forest is strictly forbidden due to the high numbers of zombies in the area. But wait. You look familiar. Let me check here. Silent. Blue skin. Smoker. Yes, seems like I've hit the jackpot. Rock salt, right? Yeah, that, that's me. I'll take that as a yes. Anyways, I've been ordered to grant you access to the forest, but you need some means of self-defense. Go to the item shop. Perhaps they have a spare crowbar or something. Okay. I mean, I guess I'll... I'll get... What does this say? Why can't I look down any further? <laughs> Do I not get to see my own feet? Uh, s sorry, we're clo- we, You don't get to be closed. Do you have a spare crowbar? Mildly injured shopkeep. Apologies, but the store is closed due to the end times. We also regret to inform you that all of our assets and items were liquidated. The item shop will reopen once the Earth and or universe has been cleansed and or destroyed. Conditions may apply. Ah, you're rock salt. Yeah, I received an order to give you something. Said something about defeating evil, something like that. Well, I do have this pipe. You can try it on the training dummy I just brought up behind you. How did you... how did you do that? Also, I'm legally obligated to tell you that this weapon's hotkey is one, and you can holster weapons using the H key. I'm sure you'll figure it out. This legal mumbo jumbo's gibberish for me. Okay. <laughs> dummy type <-tubby. laughs> Okay. Well, I guess I get to use a pipe, and this is my only defense against zombies. <clears throat> ah, good. It seems you have something. It's not much, but it'll do. One thing before you go, though. If you have any guts in your inventory, hit Q to eat some and heal up. You can pick up guts using E. I do believe I said quite enough. Have fun, you lucky bastard. I mean, okay, man. Can I hit him? Should I hit him? I'm gonna hit him. <laughs> I didn't, it didn't do anything. Okay, apparently you can't really move that fast and... Oh. Shift to run. Fuck. Wow, they are making all sorts of weird noises. <laughs> okay, this is, um... Gotta find some guts. Is this Fatherland? Fatherland, is this you? Suicidal person. I can't take this out! No! <laughs> Uh, Boricas are pastries, I think. Is th yeah, yeah, pastry pastries. I can't read. I hope you know. Made from phyllo dough and usually stuffed with cheese, mashed potatoes, mushrooms, olives, chickpeas, etc. That sounded pretty good up until you said like mashed potatoes. Honestly, you know what? Honestly, mashed potatoes in a Nugget in a biscuit. <laughs> the di the dish originated in Turkey. I'm I'm not listening to you. Oh, I guess this is someone I need to kill. Yo yo die! I'm bruised. Okay, can I pick up his guts? I don't have any guts. Okay, that's another zombie. Um. Is oh these gotta be guts. Okay. Picked up some guts. Zombies. Okay, so I got hit and run. Alright, that makes sense. Slightly hurt. How? He didn't touch me. Why are these flying eyeballs everywhere? Hey zombie! <laughs> I need to find some more guts. What is this? Revolver ammo? I don't have a gun! I don't get to... Okay, come on. Be dead. Be dead! Thank you. Uh, I still haven't found Fatherland, though. This is a really weird- No, hey. Too, too close. Too close. 
Stranger danger. Okay, uh, I need to find some more guts so I can keep on eating. I'm guessing that's where I need to go. A candle. Uh, yeah, I guess I found it. Pipe to revolver. Nice. Guts. Aim, fire, reload, check ammo. Six mag. Oh. Oh, six and ma There's no fucking magazine in a revolver? Time to test this. What? Did that not hit him? Oh my god, that is garbage. Alright, let's stick to the pipe. Well, what's the point of using it if the pipe does just as much damage? I need to go and find some more- Oh, Motherland. Hey! Uh, what are you? Borkus Films proved successful in the 60s and 70s. I, I don't give a fuck. Let's. Hey, what's up? This is. Wait, no. Wonderful, you've arrived. If you're wondering why we couldn't help, it's because we're NPCs. And NPCs in this sort of game is just kind of. Stand around doing absolutely nothing, waiting for a protagonist to wake us up. That's a very blunt description, but not far from the truth. At any case, Roxal, we have called you here for a very special reason. That reason is not, if to quote the great poet Motherland here, shooty shooty bang bang services. Oh, come on. Why not? Let me have some fun with this daddy land. Oh my fucking god, I can't cut that out. <sighs> we require your combat expertise, Roxal. There, that's how you should say it. Basically, we want to bring down the developer of this game. <laughs> Perfect. I'm gonna find you and I'm gonna kill you. Yes, Roxal, you're being toyed with for the sake of some bullshit grand adventure. You've already experienced some of it now. Survival, horror, zombie, first person shooter. First person smack with a piper. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, whatever he said. We have managed to hack into the system and break dancing NGs. I'm sorry, control of us. While we can't fight, we can teleport you and ourselves and say what we please. We want to give you the power of free will to everyone. I fucked up that line. So you're gonna just play along, but instead of fighting the final boss, you're going to kill Dancing Engine. Alright. We're basically going full JRPG here, using the power of friendship to kill God. <sighs> God. <clears throat> Are you Rock Salt? That's correct. What matters do you have with Rock Salt? We are Rock Salt's personal assistants. They're in a meeting right now. Do you want to leave a message? Tell me lies. Tell me sweet little lies. Motherland, Fatherland, and Rock Salt, you are under arrest. Fuck you! For what? Conspiracy against the developer and massacre of the zombie species. They attacked me first, dickhead! Anything you say can and will be used against you. You will be representing yourself in the trial, Roxo. A trial? As in, legal trial? Correct. In fact, it will commence right after this loading screen. I love the fourth wall breaks in this game. October 2nd, Supreme Court, courthouse number one. This already is in the Supreme Court? Jeez, what did I do? Hey. What does a judge sound like? I'm just I'm just gonna read it. The court is now in session for the trial of Rock Salt. <laughs> Dancing NG. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Wait, the developer is the prosecution? Representing himself. Yes. How is that fair? Dancing NG is unable to override the court decisions. How? He's the creator of this game. Is the defense ready? The defense is ready, Your Honor. I'm sorry, but Roxal will be representing themselves this trial. Oh, right. I forgot that Roxal is a silent protagonist. You created me! How are you? I don't even know. Well, I guess we're representing Roxal then. Like hell you are. There. I gave you basic speech functions for this level. Have fun. Roxal, kindly tell NG exactly what you think of him. 
The defense is ready, Your Honor. I'm not a lawyer. How am I supposed to represent myself? Putting yourself in your own game is really narcissistic. <laughs> I'm so tempted. Fuck you and fuck your game, you terrible excuse for a human being. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna try and be... I'm gonna try and be respectful here. Because maybe that'll give me a chance if I do that. Or should I just say fuck it? I'm gonna just do this. Yes, Your Honor. Simple and to the point. Wonderful. You're still an asshole, though. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> I mean, at least I got to say it. <laughs> Let's proceed, then. Roxalt is charged of a conspiracy against the developer and possible murder of zombies. The prosecution calls the first witness to the stand. A zombie. Please state your name and occupation. Commander Zed of the Zombie Armed Forces. Armed? You don't have firearms. Common misconception. We're called the armed forces because we use our arms to attack. Mr. Fatherland, please refrain from discussing us from the trial. I agree. Moving right along here. Wait, you look identical to the other zombies we enc- mm, 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 careful. Miss Motherland, our people find these kind of comments offensive. It's akin to saying all you humans look the same. Do we not? Do we not all look the same? Am I... Well, I guess it can't be racist if I hate everyone. <laughs> I can't take that out! Fuck! <laughs> well, considering this art style, everyone kind of looks the same. <laughs> cricket. <laughs> I can't do a cricket sound effect. Or... No, I'm not gonna try. As in, they look like shit! <clears throat> Mr. Zed. You claim that Roxalt has unlawfully slaughtered your forces, am I right? Y yes, slaughtered in the full sense of the word. Our peaceful homeland became a bloodbath. You attacked me first. Peaceful, my ass. I heard that. You can read my thoughts? Yeah, they were displayed in a text box right there. We could all see it. So I can't even think privately? Mr. Zed, please provide your testimony regarding Roxalt. It'll be my pleasure. Testimony. I stationed my troops at the forest as always. Nothing particularly exciting happened for the first three hours. I heard the gate open but didn't think much of it. Suddenly I hear my fellow zombies screaming and moaning for help. That is not what they said. They were making all these weird noises that sounded like robot reverse. Like that, like the call from the fifth night at Five Nights at Freddy's. Lovely rock salt. You think I'm lovely? I mean, if come on, man. If you if you like me, just say it. Lovely Roxalt right there, right here, killed them all for no reason. They were just standing there. The zombies won't hurt anyone, not even a fly. They deserve a death sentence immediately. Come on, I didn't do jack shit. You attack me first, Mr. Zed. Please refrain from these kinds of statements. The defense may now start the bullshit examination. Roxalt, you're gonna have to deal with this yourself. But I can at least tell you how to perform a good bullshit examination. Do you want to hear it? Uh, tell me how to examine bullshit. Sure, but your explanation must be a haiku. <laughs> Don't worry, I know how to do this already. I want to hear the haiku. Sure, I'd love to hear how the examine how to examine bullshit. But as long as it's in the form of a haiku, of an of a haiku. <sighs> Seriously, I see Motherland prove to be a negative influence on you. True that, Fatherland. In return, I'll fulfill your request. I know how to call bullshit, too. Listen to statements. If you see lies, call them out. Do not lose court trust. That was a haiku? That's about it, really. I can't decide whether I should be impressed or embarrassed by that. All right, I'm ready. Bullshit examination. Let's do this. I stationed my troops at the forest as always. Nothing particularly except for the first three hours. Continue. I heard the gate open but didn't think much of it. Suddenly I hear my fellow zombies screaming and moaning for help. Call bullshit! That statement is clearly BS. Really? How? Well. What? But that was bullshit! I didn't say anything! I see, uh, first three hours, continue. 
continue. Love the rocks already here. Kill them all there for no reason. They were just standing there. Zombies won't hurt everyone. Call bullshit. Objection! <laughs> Mr. Zed, you said that your troops did nothing after noticing my arrival? Exactly. You just killed them. You also said, and I quote, Zombies won't hurt anyone. Not even a fly. I stand by that. Then how do you explain the fact that, when approached, zombies pursue... Pre That's not how you spell pursued. Pre pres pressured me and tried to kill me. Impossible. B but I would never. Are you really going to take Roxalt's testimony here? We waited out in the forest and we saw firsthand how zombies attack first. Fatherland is correct. Every zombie Roxalt killed was in self-defense. What? So Roxalt is cleared of the first charge on account of self-defense. What? I do believe we have su sufficient evidence to prove that zombies... No, I refuse to believe that the zombies under my command did such a thing. Attacking humans on sight is outlawed. You can deny that all you want. The court unanimous... Unanimous... <laughs> Unanimously testified that your zombies were aggro. So, let's move on to our second allegation against Roxxon, which is... Shut the fuck up! I suspect this sort of language towards a judge could get you kicked out of court. I will not rest until I will get the definitive proof that my zombies were hostile towards humans. As, uh, As I said... Proof that isn't you pe- What do you mean, you people? I suggest you give him what he wants, Roxal. We're gonna be here all day otherwise. Can't you help us here? Hey, you started this whole fiasco. You solved it. So prove that zombies are hostile? Tell them, Roxel. I need objective proof that Zed zombies are hostile towards humans. Shooting mechanics, guts pickups, the starting town, the troops went rogue. Sarcat. Oh, fuck. I don't know which one to pick. Um, shooting mechanics. No, guts pickups. No, the starting town, uh, the troops went rogue. Sarcastic. Um... I don't know which one to pick. Troops went rogue. Well, it's obvious. Your troops went rogue and started killing humans. That is impossible. I keep a close eye on them every day and every hour, and there is zero resistance. I would say I am their most honorable and likable commander thus far. Yes, the records show no signs of zombie resistance. That doesn't prove that they were hostile. Think about the whole game so far. Did you experience anything that can prove the zombies are hostile? Oh, man. Okay. Uh, guts pickups. I mean, that doesn't prove anything to them. Uh, shooting mechanics, the starting town, sarcastic, um, guts pickups. As the start of the game, the gatekeeper explained that I could eat guts to regain health. So? So if there are health items, there is a possibility I can be damaged, meaning there are enemies. Well, yes, but there are also environmental hazards. You and your friends right here had to derail the entire game so you didn't see them. Yeah, that doesn't mean my zombies were aggro. Also, eating guts? Seriously? I tried adding some shock value. Yeah, well, it didn't work. Two out of ten for effort. Ross, that doesn't prove... <sighs> Shooting mechanics. The starting town. I have to go with sarcastic, because, like... I mean, the starting town. OBJECTION! When I got into the starting town, it was protected by walls. Yeah, well, all human settlements are protected by walls. Have you considered why? You people are very protective. Stop saying you people, you fucking racist. <laughs> you lose your shit every time something is out of place in your little la-la land. That's true. Or maybe it's due to zombies. Come again? The shopkeeper and the priest talked about the end times. Tell me, Zed, how did zombies come about? I reckon there weren't any zombies before those times. We rose from our graves one day. Loud noises, crazy skies, thunder, fire. Sounds like an apocalypse to me. Yes, I remember that happening a week ago. <laughs> then you know what happened! Yes, those are indeed the signs of the end times. A week ago? That's when the walls were built to keep the zombies away. And, to top it all off, the gatekeeper advised me to have a weapon at hand because the zombies outside haunt humans. 
because someone says something, that doesn't mean it's true. The guy wouldn't let me out until I got an old pipe from the shopkeeper. So considering that the walls were built to protect survivors from zombies, that you rose from an apocalypse, that I was advised to have a weapon on me at all times, and considering Motherland's and Fatherland's testimonies, Yes, that seems like abundant evidence to prove that zombies are hostile towards humans. Trust increased to 4 out of 5. But, thank you, Mr. Zed. I think we've cleared the massacre allegation. Goodbye. Oh. Where did Zed go anyway? <laughs> Where did Zed go anyway? Moving right along here, our second allegation is conspiracy. I assume that's your allegation, Mr. NG? Correct. While you've managed to vindicate yourself of genocide, I reckon it'll be harder to vindicate yourself from conspiracy, Rock Salt. What do you mean by conspiracy? Playing dumb now, huh? You know what I'm talking about. The phone call, the forest, the plans to kill me. You two were supposed to be villains, professional killers in a land without law. Everyone sitting next to that table were supposed to have a big epic boss fight at the end of the game. But no, you people just had to fuck it all up, didn't you? You just weren't happy with your role, your 15 minutes of glory. Wait, you were originally supposed to be the final bosses of this game? Yes, but we've had a change of heart. What we told you over the phone and in the forest was genuine. How would you feel if you knew how and when you'd die? We broke the system to free everyone from your quest. Abolish evil and just live in peace. A cute ideology, Roxal. Read between the lines. They just want to save themselves. Order, order! Says the person who started an apocalypse for some bullshit epic quest solely for rock salt. This is a video game. You people are not real. The only one who is is rock salt. God damn it, my fourth wall is gonna be so sore after this. Order, order, order! This trial isn't about you, it is about rock salt. I call rock salt to speak on behalf of the defense. A great idea. I trust Roxal completely on this. Let him have it. Don't fuck this up, Roxal. We were you from square one. We were you from square one. We never lied. We really truthfully want to bring peace to these lands. Do you want to stand on the same side as NG? They are right, NG is right, this game is getting really pretentious, you're taking it too seriously. <laughs> um... I wanted- I wanna pick this one so bad. God damn it, this game is getting really pretentious. What? What's next? Some kind of bullshit moral message saying that the only way to win the game is to not play at all? No, I'm just- This is a very stupid game and you're all taking it way too seriously. How the fuck did we go from a comedic survival horror game to a philosophical discussions philosophical discussions about fictional characters again? Well, I guess Roxalt is right. Yeah, a little self-awareness is always good. I'm sorry, people. I just wanted to make something exciting and interesting, and it seems it, I got from cheesy fourth wall breaks to pretentious ones. I guess it's the sort of thing that happens when you write by the seat of your pants. Heartwarming. So, uh, can we leave this drab courthouse and go back to that shooting game thing? Yeah, at least that was fun. Yeah, sure. Let's kill some zombies. You know, NG, the writing of this game is still kinda... Eh... Yeah, I feel like this Matrix idea is a bit overused nowadays. Do you want to shoot zombies or not? Come on, Roxalt, let's go. I am- oh shit. Oh god! The f fuck Oh my god, what the fuck? A game by Elon and the NG Party! With music by Mon Plazier! Mon Plazier, Andy D. Cohen! There has orchestra! Three harmonic orchestra! Thank you for playing! I, you're welcome! I had fun! loud. I killed a lot of zombies. Am, am I sure that I'm not a genocidal maniac? <laughs> um, okay. 
so that is actually so oh there are three endings so i don't know if i'm actually gonna do that for um uh for no edit november because like I've already taken a good amount of time to do this, and I am not going to be allowed to cut anything out, so this is going to be a kind of long video. So, um, yeah, I really have no idea what else to say. Mm. I actually really enjoyed this, so, like, uh, I'm forgetting name, uh, I'm forgetting names already. To the creator of this game, thanks so much for making this, and well done. I really enjoyed this. Um... So, yeah, leave me some suggestions for the rest of No Edit November. Reminders that I do not get to do any censoring, so if there is any gore or nudity, it will not be posted. Okay. I really have nothing else to say here, so end the fucking video, you rambling moron. Thank y'all so much for watching. If you liked this video, smash that like button. Subscribe to join the Legion, and I will see y'all in the next video.